there are consequences when you challenge the reggae industry or the reggae fraternity who protect the fucking Marlies. You see? Mm-hmm. I had my own fucking label in Brazil. VP Records. President, Mr. Olivier Chaston, begged me desperately for me to have some distribution going on for VP Records. Can you imagine that shit? He said, Mouth, we love to have the market for a long time. 300 million people. But these cocksuckers didn't want Mouth to have the market. Hmm? So the guy, Gary Mofar, who sold Rush Record, went right over VP Record. Say, Mouth, I'm at VP Record with Olivier Chaston. Oh, it's Brazil. I said, Oh, it's beautiful, man. You got to come back in the business. Mm -hmm. You see them fuckers, they watch me, you know. Every move he come out made. Mm -hmm. So, I for the booking agent. Use me like a misuse me like a fucking guinea pig. Mm, American famous talent. AFT. Rick Brockamontes. Fucking bitch. They let, they let me play at certain places before any other reggae fucking artist. Go test the market, mouth. Go test the shit. Cause your style is unique. The kids don't love you. And after that, Rick Brockamontes would make deals for the people or promoters who don't want to book the other artists he has. Like Barrington Levy, Queen Africa, Tony Rebel. They say, okay, if you don't book these three motherfuckers, you can't get Eka Mouth using me as a fucking pawn. And all you reggae singers out there and DJ, you fucking know how influential Eka Mouth Bang Ding Ding is to the rest of the fucking world. Motherfucker. Yep. I ain't gonna go in no more fucking little long story detail because I already talk about shit with Rick Brockman death. Try to kill my career in California. Have me playing here a fucking month. He wouldn't book me out of this, the country anymore. Start to watering down my shit. I'll promote and run away with my fucking money. He want to talk to me. He want to talk to Mark Ray. Or Stokely. Musicians. Why to contour? Motherfucker. That's how the three T come out in the regular business. I did I'm a fucking slave. He said, Mouse, we're going to send uh, you out with B Foundation. We're going to send you out with the Expendables. We're gonna send you out with a uh, slightly stupid, but I'm the headliner. But these white reggae bands, they have their own backline equipment. And I say, okay, it's more cheaper. If what they told me, I say, okay. <laughs> That's what they fucking did to you come off. You're gonna hear more about shit. We are the expendables, we are B Foundation. And we are uh, slightly stupid. All the fucking white reggae band, they pass through me countless of these motherfuckers. Mm hmm. Yes, yes, yes. That's what the fuck happened. Now all the Mali boys are chasing me out. To kill you come out career. No. You can't let me think and stress any fucking more. My music come first. You tell my children in America that shit. A lot of shit happen. We gonna talk about some more of that. Bang ding ding motherfucker.